All right, just some people had some question regarding the angel wings and how to make him translucent. Um, so it just depends on how dark you kind of want them. Like over here, they're a little bit darker than this side. So I'm gonna darken this up for you. <coughs> but I wanna show you kind of what I do. Don't mind this palette because it's just for my whites. So I have one that's real, a white. So just took some white acrylic paint, uh, put it in here, took some dabs of water put it in here, mixed it up to be the right consistency. And this one's a little bit darker. Well, it was, but it's getting dried out. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit more, get some paint in there. And then this one, uh, we'll make this one really, get that one mixed up too. So one might be a little bit darker than the other. And that's what I'm going for, so I don't have to sit there and keep um, messing around with it. So, anyways, here's what I do. Got my brushes wet. I'm using a little bit bigger brush this time. I did start off with my little brushes to get it going. But now I want to make this wing a little bit darker and fuller. So, um, first off, I... To get this just a tad shade white, you just put a little bit of white on there and then just mix it around. And it's just a small smidgen of watered down white. So then that way it looks translucent, but it's also, you could tell it's part of her wing. You don't want it to be full blue and then not be able to tell. Make sure to get. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my camera. I didn't feel like putting up my little camera thing for this video. So I'm trying to hurry up and get her done. But I wanted to help some of y'all out too. So, anyways. Blend that a little bit. Make it look better. Okay, so let's do this thing. So, I don't know what brush I'm using. Angular shaded uh, ten zero. Um, so I'm gonna start at the bottom, and you want to kind of leave this. I'm leaving this space right here um, up. So I'm starting right here, and I'm just making small strokes, and I'm not going exactly. And then I'm gonna kind of get it a little bit darker right here. So they're not all like right next to each other. My strokes. There's some space in between. And that's kind of what you want to do. Just give it a tad of space. If you were to also, by the way, if you were to make a brush stroke on this one and it's too um, dark, you can always just put a bit of water real quick and and get it mixed in or put a water and wipe it off real quick. So all we're doing is just trying to make some Ugh, I hope you can see this. I'm moving a lot. A little bit darker spot lines in here. But not all next to each other. Since there's some white paint on my brush, I went to the lighter one just to get some extra water. Because the paint, you know, is still on there from the thicker one. <clears throat> I'm 
try to do a time lapse one and oh my goodness that went way too fast I need to go over her hands because her wings should be on the other side of her hands. So, I mean, her hands should be in the front, her wings are in the back, so. We, want, we don't want to go over them too much, but we want them to see that there's supposed to be a wing there. that so that looks a little bit better so anyhow I just want to kind of show you how I do it with my three tones of white uh, that are watered down uh, to give it that wing look hope this helps thanks have a good night